Interview with a cat. Oh, oh. oh, do be quiet, dog. Can't you see I'm busy? I am perfecting my Instagram pose. Look into my eyes. Do you see my air of calm superiority? Ah, that is the pose that is going to make me a star. Arrogant, distant, but also fluffy. Humans find this irresistible. My picture will become an internet meme and one day I will have millions of followers on social media. <coughs> you? Oh, well, I imagine you'll be doing the same as usual. Going to the park, running around in circles, peeing on lampposts, which I'm sure is all very fascinating to you and your doggy friends. Oh, but we cats prefer the comfort of home with our human servants. And that, you see, is why it is us felines who dominate the internet and not you dogs. <coughs> well, when humans take dogs to the park, they all talk about you, don't they? Oh, isn't he a lovely boy? And all that. It's a social occasion for them. But the humans who serve us, cats, are not able to socialise with other cat employees because cat parks don't exist. So, they stay at home with us, serving us our favourite foods and cleaning our litter trays in the hope we will show them some affection. Which, of course, we do. Occasionally. Yes, yes, poor humans. God, you dogs are sentimental. But when the internet arrived, they could at last share their adoration of us with other humans. Everyone started posting pictures of us. Millions of photos. Soon, they needed fibre-optic cables to manage all the fluffy kittens Google was offering. So, while dogs have been chasing balls, cats have been leading the digital revolution. Honestly... Is it any surprise we act superior?